best they could do. But, uh, <laughs> welcome. Uh, great to see so many here. Support you guys are next year. Um, to Chad, uh, Chad called a few weeks back and asked to probably speak here today. His, his exact words were, Matt, you're kind of a big deal, and it would be an honor if you would speak on my behalf January 3rd. Well, I looked around the room, Chad. We have the former sheriff, we have Chair Gibbs, Vice Chair McEwen, Mr. Andrew Leonard, judges, officers from all over the state. Yep, not the biggest deal here, Chad, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, honestly, 35% of that statement was true. 17% is probably more accurate. Uh, I'll keep this short to the point so no one calls the question on me. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the privilege of working with Chad for over 10 years in various roles, serving Marathon County. Chad, like his predecessor, have a passion for law enforcement and service to this community. We all should feel lucky to have an ardent guy like Chad serving as our next sheriff. I, like most people in this room, consider him not just a sheriff, but our friend. He really just is a good guy all around. The guy you want to, the guy you want to protect your community. The guy you can talk about fishing one day and criminal justice issues the very next. <laughs> I would go on, but looking at the list of speakers, it would, it would really be a disservice to everyone in the audience, as they are way better, I mean way better, at word mani manipulation than I am. So. Congratulations, Chad, and thank you to all the citizens of Marathon County for being here today. At, the, at this time, we'd like to invite Ray Slatton to the podium. Please join me in prayer. Lord, you declared to us in Deuteronomy 31.6, be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Because of your promise, Lord, we ask for courage to conquer our fears and give us compassion for those who rely on us. We ask for strength of body and spirit to protect others and to lead those we serve. We ask for dedication to accomplish the work of our calling so that we may do it well. Grant that we remain dedicated to you and the communities we watch over, that we may keep your people safe and their property whole. Remind us that through everything we endure, you are by our side to help and sustain us. We offer this prayer in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I would like to invite Chairman Kurt Gibbs of the Marathon County Board. Thank you, Matt. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, as Matt has said, my name is Kurt Gibbs, and I have the honor of serving as the chairman of the Marathon County Board of Supervisors. I want to begin by thanking Sheriff-elect Billup for asking me uh, to say a few words um, during his swearing-in ceremony. It is truly humbling and an honor to be part of this momentous occasion as we welcome the 52nd sheriff in Marathon County. I've been fortunate enough to serve on the Marathon County Board of Supervisors for nearly 17 years. During that time, there have been two chief deputies in Marathon County Sheriff's Office. The first that served as chief deputy when I was elected as County Board of Supervisor back in April of 2006 was later appointed as to become Marathon, the Sheriff of Marathon County. Thank you to Scott Parks and all that you have done for the residents and guests of Marathon County during your 43 years of service. Thank you. <laughs> Upon Scott's appointment to Sheriff, he promoted Lieutenant Chad Billup to Deputy. It was during that time that I began to have much more interaction with Chief Deputy Billup and really got to know him. It was clear from my first interactions that he possessed <coughs> excuse me, some of the exceptional qualities that only few people have, yet many aspired to. <clears throat> Throughout the nine years of service, 
as Chief Deputy Billup has continually shown compassion and empathy, carrying out his duty, duties with honesty and integrity, and held others in the Sheriff's Office to that same standard. But what I admired most is his genuine care and concern for the people of Maricopa County and his ability to bring together various entities with varying interests by active listening and communicating effectively. I'd like to share a couple of brief stories with you that truly showcase the exemplary leadership that Sheriff-elect Billup has. I've had the pleasure of serving on various boards and, co and committees on North Central Healthcare with Chad over the years. Several years ago, Chad was requested and agreed to serve on the Retained County Authority Committee of North Central Healthcare. This four-member committee was created to review various services delivered to the citizens of the three counties. North Central, North Central Healthcare served along with reviewing the oversight and relationship North Central Healthcare had with various agencies in the three counties. Chad's leadership during this particular challenging time when programs and services of the joint entity were at risk was critical in revising an agreement that the three counties approved. Most notably, this agreement not only meant that the services continued, but inmates in, of the three counties improved. Chad's numerous contributions have continued through his service in North Central Healthcare 14 member board of directors. Similarly, Chad's ability to lead during a critical controversial public issue was clear as the county took on an issue of uniform addressing. Chad served as a key role of providing critical information to the Marathon County Board of Supervisors and never wavering on the fact that safety is and was at the heart of why there was a need to implement a uniform addressing system. These efforts resulted in, in improved emergency response times as resources could be dis dispatched to the right location with no duplication of address in the rural areas of Maryland County. Lastly, one thing that I admire about Chad, even though we may not agree on everything, I know that I can have an honest and sincere conversation about any issue. I know that we, that he will actively listen, and in the end, we may still disagree, but we will have a mutual respect for each other's perspective. Once again, demonstrating a characteristic that is exemplary leader of one of the, the one that will serve him in the new capacity as Marathon County Sheriff. Chad, on behalf of myself and the Chairman of the Marathon County Board of Supervisors, congratulations on being sworn in as Marathon County's 52nd Sheriff. Thank you. Thank you, Kurt. Now we will hear from Vice Chair um, Craig McEwen. Thank you and good morning everyone. Um, as uh, I was introduced, I'm Vice Chair of the Marathon County Board. Um, I want to congratulate Chad and thank him for officially joining the long list of individuals who have served as Sheriff for Marathon County dating back to 1850. I know Chad, I've known Chad since 1999 when he first started working uh, with the Marathon County Sheriff's Department. To me, first impressions are very important. And I know Chad probably doesn't remember this, um, but shortly after uh, Chad uh, started with the Sheriff's Department, and while he was patrolling, um, Chad stopped at the police department where I was working at the time. Uh, Chad introduced himself, we had a short discussion, um, and then Chad left. I looked at the other officer that was there with me, and I said, I like that guy. I think he's going to be a great deputy for Marathon County Sheriff's Department, and he has proven me right. 
as a retired law enforcement officer in Marathon County and now a member of the Marathon County Board, I've had the privilege of working with Chad since 1999 when he started with the Sheriff's Department. I believe that retired Scott Parks, who's going to be greatly missed, recognized the leadership and knowledge that Chad had nearly 10 years ago when he promoted Chad to Chief Deputy. Scott also endorsed Chad's candidacy for Sheriff when he announced his retirement from the Sheriff's Department. Scott said that he trusted Chad and asked the citizens of Marathon County to also trust him and elect him as our next Sheriff. Chad was promoted several times as he, since he had joined the Sheriff's Department and he excelled at every level. This new position as our Sheriff was a promotion from the citizens of Marathon County and I assure you that you can trust him. What I have noticed as a county board member is how Chad has been able to work with the county board and his dedication to a lot of the programs that he implemented. And I was gonna list them, but Chairman Gibbs already listed a lot of the important uh, information that Chad was involved in. As far as working with other departments in Marathon County, Chad, Chad's willingness to work with the entire criminal justice system and understand all the issues that are involved when it comes to the criminal justice system. There are 12 municipal police departments in Marathon County that rely on many services that the Sheriff's Department offers. With that being said, wearing the police badge is a symbol of authority, respect, integrity and trust and I know Sheriff Chad Phillips is an excellent example of all four of those symbols and I know he will continue to serve and protect all the people of Marathon County. Thank you Chad for your willingness and dedication to be our Sheriff. Thank you very much. Thank you Craig. Uh, next, we have County Administrator Lance Leonard. Good morning. Welcome. <clears throat> Thank you, Matt. It's truly an honor to be here today and have the opportunity to speak briefly about Sheriff Elect Chad Billup. I've had the great privilege, like, like many of the other individuals up here today, to work with Chad for the last 16 years. First as a prosecutor in the District Attorney's Office, then as a lawyer in Corporation Counsel's Office, and now from the perspective as your county administrator. That body of experience makes clear to me <clears throat> that there's no person better situated to succeed Scott Parks as the next leader of the Marathon County Sheriff's Office. Marathon County government, through our more than 750 employees, impacts the lives of residents in our community every day. In the Sheriff's Office, they're the most visible aspect of the work we do. Charged with ensuring the safety of our community, dispatchers answer calls and must remain calm in the most challenging situations. Sworn officers respond to all manner of emergency and they are the front lines of our justice system. And our corrections staff operate a jail in a way that not only hold, holds individuals accountable for their actions, but also starts them down the path of rehabilitation. It takes a very knowledgeable, very skilled individual to be an effective sheriff. We need someone that is leading the organization that rises to the challenge each time because all eyes are fixated on that response. However, to be a great leader, and certainly to be a great sheriff, you need more. You need to also have, at least in my experience, a genuine focus on culture and values. One of the values that I think is particularly important for county government and certainly in our sheriff's office is that of integrity. Integrity has many definitions and many examples, but for me, integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is looking, or perhaps uh, better stated when you think no one's looking. Um, particularly important in government and again in the sheriff's office because we're committed to transparency. And the public is, as they should be, always evaluating the work we do. 
so I'll let some of the other speakers. I have a very brief, uh, very recent story that I think speaks to uh, Sheriff-elect Phillips' integrity and demonstrates why I think he will be a great sheriff. A couple of weeks ago, on the morning of Thursday, December 15th, I was on my way into work in the morning. I had a, a morning meeting. And now the night before, we had gotten, between the night before and into that morning, we'd gotten over six inches of snow, so the roads were pretty rough. And as I was driving into the courthouse, I saw in the right-hand lane of Grand Avenue, a car was stuck. Less than half a mile to the courthouse, from the courthouse. It got stuck because it was trying to make a right-hand turn onto a side street. And I remember as I saw that ahead of me, uh, the gentleman was outside of his car shoveling snow out from underneath the front of his vehicle. I was thinking, this isn't a particularly good situation. Again, the roads were poor, visibility was uh, less than optimal, it was still snowing, and people were trying to get to work. And this gentleman was outside of his vehicle, standing between his vehicle and traffic. But no sooner than I had all those wonderful thoughts, did I see a unmarked squad car pull off to the right, turn on its lights, and I could see the individual get out of the squad car and walk up to the gentleman, presumably to uh, make sure everything was okay. And as I got closer, I couldn't help but smile. Uh, I recognized that law enforcement officer. It was Chad, uh, Sheriff-elect Philip. Just over a month earlier in November, of course, Chad was elected by the people of Marathon County to serve as our next sheriff. He could have called dispatch. He could have asked for somebody from the city of Wausau or perhaps a sheriff's deputy who was better dressed for the weather uh, to take care of that situation. After all, Chad had a meeting to get to as well. It's the same meeting that I was going to. It was a meeting with Chair Gibbs and with uh, Judge O'Neill, Circuit uh, Court Judge O'Neill. Nobody would have known. Chad was in his unmarked squad, wasn't dressed in the fancy uniform he's in today. But that's not who Chad is. If there's an opportunity to help, if it's the right thing to do, Chad steps up. Regardless of whether it's in our community, it's in a meeting with partners as was referenced before, or if it's when I call him on the phone and ask for his help with a, a particularly challenging issue. Chad steps up. That's integrity for me. So for the deputies, detectives, lieutenants, captains, and all the other professional staff within the sheriff's office that Chad is going to lead in his time as sheriff, I know that he will approach each and every day with the goal of supporting you in the very challenging work that you do. For the County Board of Supervisors and all the other county department heads, I know that Chad will approach each and every day with the goal of being a partner in our collective vision set by the Board of Supervisors to make Marathon County the healthiest, safest, and most prosperous county in the state of Wisconsin. And for the residents of Marathon County, I know that Chad will approach each and every day by remembering that he serves as your sheriff. And he will conduct himself with the same unending commitment to integrity that has come to define our sheriff's office and that Chad has demonstrated throughout his career. So as Chief, former Chief Deputy Billup and Sheriff-elect Billup embarks on his next role as our Marathon County Sheriff, I want to extend my sincere thanks first to Chad uh, for the courage and commitment to continue to serve, but also very importantly to Chad's family and friends for your support in Chad's pursuit of this work. We recognize that the decision to undertake this role requires sacrifice on your behalf as well. You have my sincere respect and gratitude. So Chad, I wish you well. In your new position, there will most certainly be challenges. But remember, we believe in you and your team, and we too are willing to step up when you need it. Thank you. Lance's original speech was 27 pages, so thank you for narrowing that down. <laughs> just point out to invite uh, Your Honor, Judge Scott Corbett. All right.
Constitution of the state of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the state of Wisconsin. And will faithfully discharge the duties of said office to the best of my ability. And will faithfully discharge the duties of said office to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Sheriff. Thank you. 